Hello and welcome to part 5 of the SAP FICO list of activities. In this video exercise, we will pick up where we left off in part 4. In our next task, we will use the CS03 transaction code to display a bill of material. I had already explained to you in the theory part what a bill of material is. Now let me change status of this task to in progress. Now copy the transaction code and head into the SAP system. So this is a view transaction, which means you can only access an existing bill of material. You will need to key in the plant code and usage is 1, which is production. I will take you through all this in a minute. Let me go into our Excel file. I've already created a bill of material in the SAP system. First thing we will look at is single level bill of material for a frame. Then I will show you a multi-level bill of material. Let me copy this material number. I paste my material number here and hit enter. So for this bill of material to produce a front wheel, we need to use one front rim and one front tire. Quantities were entered into this column here. It's a very straightforward bill of material. Double click on the components and it will take you right into the material master. I am going into accounting one tab to show you the cost for this material. So the cost of this front rim is $100, and S on this price control indicator means we are maintaining standard cost for this material. Now let me go back and show you a multi-level bill of material, and then we will look at its fully loaded cost. So our finished good product is bike A. Let me change its status to complete, and change status of this one to in progress. So we are on this task here, and we can view a multi-level bill of material using CS11 transaction. Let me explain what a multi-level bill of material is first. So to produce a bike, I have used three major components such as frame, pedal, and brake. But at the same time, to produce a frame, you need a front rim and front tire. So this is a very simple multi-level bill of material. To produce a bike, we need all these three things plus these two materials per our bill of material. Just assume that these are the only materials that you needed to produce a bike. Hence, I kept it simple for you. So now that you understand a multi-level bill of material, I can go into the SAP system, type in transaction CS11, and hit the enter key. We know our material number was 3061, the plant is 1000, and this application is for production. Let me show you a complete list. Using this list, you can view inventory, plant, costing, production, or various other bills of material. And the one pre-select for us was this production bill of material. If you would like to select another view, it's just fine. But for our example here, let me show you production bill of material. Once you are done, hit the execute button, and there you go. Here is a view of your very simple multi-level bill of material. So to produce bike A, we need the front wheel, pedal, brake, and front wheel components like rim and tire. So this is the first level bill of material, and as you can see, this is the second level bill of material. You can easily identify another level bill of material with the help of this icon, and these are the components of this second bill of material. You can also see the first and second levels on this column here. Like I said before, this is a very basic multi-level bill of material. Now can you imagine a bill of material for a phone? I worked for a phone manufacturer, and I had seen a bill of material that had 20 to 35 different levels. Similarly, bills of material for TV and other complex machines have so many different levels, too. Another important thing to mention here is that a bill of material is a material master for the production planning module. Finances only maintain costing, which I will show you in a minute. Now let me go into the Excel file and take a look at our next activity. So our next activity is routing. The transaction code is CA03. Let me change its status to in progress first. In fact, let me create a routing for you instead. So routing is a representation of how you process work on your shop floor. Typically, a routing is made up of a series of operational steps like machine setup time, labor, and various other smaller steps. Now we need a material number for our bike. And yes, it matches our Excel file. Plant is 1000. There are other fields, but I'm going to ignore them for now and hit the Enter key. 
First thing we need to define is the usage of our material. Let me select production. We need to select its status also. There are various different statuses, but I personally prefer released or number four.